Zach here, going to do part two of my Bogoti snare drum shell build. Hopefully you watched part one and enjoyed that. In part two I'm going to talk about attaching the throw off the butt and adding the vent grommet. And part three will be coming up which is the finishing stages of doing the acrylic finish in a matte, uh, in a matte sheen. So I'll get that going up here. But take a watch and hopefully you enjoy it. Thanks. I'm going to go with this throw off that I picked up online and uh, just this nice butt plate. Originally I was going to go with the, uh, the DW Mag throw off uh, which I love but in the end I want this to be you know my snare drum build and you know that big DW just stands out and this is really nice and clean and I think it matches well with this snare drum. So what I'm doing here is uh, I've taped up all my edges so I can then route out where I'm going to put my snare drum beds and what I'm doing now is uh, measuring up my throw and uh, here I marked on the side because this is actually designed it's kind of nice you just put a uh, screw in there and it it's got some wiggle room so I can get my my holes in there just right and uh, so just marking that up and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get that drilled and then I'm gonna measure up where that strainer comes out and then do the same for the butt on the other side so let's go ahead and make some holes make some adjustments and get some ad parts added thing is is you know it's in there and I can actually just take that off now and but that's where it's gonna go so what I want to do just put that back up there the height so now the butt plate the screws are at the exact same height so what I want is I want this to be the same the same height so I'm just going to take my measurements for that. do first is draw my lines across and then uh, redo center again. Ah. So now if I take my gasket basically going to use this point to line up center and then 
I'll bring my marker back. Gas wheels. See what happens. And there it is. Now I got my butt plate on there. And on this side. snare on there. Now, to cut the bed. Um, so it's not very, very aggressive, but what basically I'm actually gonna foul, foul my line here, and that's where I'm gonna flatten. And uh, I'm actually gonna go from, from end to end, or from lug to lug, and then I'm gonna carry it out, you know, an inch and bring it back up at my taper here. So uh, I'm going to be using just a pure sound, uh, you know, 24 strand. But when I lay this across, you know, there's, there's where it sits. So I'm just gonna make it flat all the way across here. So that's my plan. I just marked out a crude line just in case I lose where that edge is, but I'm just gonna follow that bearing edge and I don't have I don't have a route or anything, so I'm just gonna do it by hand. Actually I'm gonna start with a Dremel and uh, go in there nice and flat. And then I'm gonna use a file and flatten it with a file. So let's give her a shot. That's gonna sit real nice. So now I got my snare beds cut on both sides. I just have to go in and fill this little hole that came out of nowhere. And uh, I think everything turned out real nice. Wish I could get a really nice shot of that, but it's really tough. Anyways, so there's my snare beds, and uh, now I'll go ahead and put it all back together once just so I can uh, actually I'll put it together for the first time ever and hit it and see how it sounds, make some adjustments. Then I'll take it apart and uh, I'm gonna finish the shell, and then I'll put it all the back together for its final, final stages. So here it is. It's not 100% finished because now I got to go back through and do the wood. But I also need to put a vent hole in there. But I've got my butt plate on and my snare throw off. And uh, everything's looking real nice. I really like that. I think this is a great choice. My other option, uh, I was going to do the DW mag, but I'm uh, really liking how this turned out. I tried to make the top of this level so it was nice and even. Uh, so I've got here my, uh, my vent, basically, my vent hole. get my big step bit out and 
we're basically gonna go down for this step bit so again we're gonna take some tape up which step bit to go to and tape it off no maybe we won't it's too oily So I decided to put my vent hole uh, grommet there right above the butt plate and that turned out real nice. Look at how smooth that is. And the back side too turned out real nice. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to go ahead and clean this drum up and we're going to lie. Uh, we're going to put down some uh, We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna clean it up, put some uh, coating over it so that uh, it stays protected. And of course, there's a washer for it and everything, so. All right. 